today we are going to see about how to train the neural network for NBPT algorithm by using uh, collected data from the NASA power okay so here you can see that website right NASA power website just you click this one so after then go to data access and then go to power data access v1 so here we are going to collect the historical data of the particular location okay uh, here we are going to collect the irradiation and the temperature for the particular location so after collecting the data for that means historical data for last three months or four months so by using that data we are going to train the neural network so that neural network can be used to for uh, implementing NBPT in the solar PV system in order to uh, get the maximum power for the PV panel. So, in order to train the neural network, so we need the data, historical data. So, for that, so I am going to, I am going uh, location Chennai, okay. So, I am going to click this point, right. So, here you can see that we are going to launch longitude and latitude right and then i'm going to select the month right so here i'm going to select the month is the jan 1st 2021 and we can select the month okay whatever may be so we can i select it for uh, six months right and then i'm going to export the data in the csv format and here I am going to use uh, irradiation all the surface for the downward irradiation and then I am going to use temperature okay. and then I am going to submit the button okay. click the submit button so here we will get the data okay. So here we will get the data. So here you can see that we will get the data of that irradiation and temperature for six months. Okay. So this data will be used to for train the neural network. So already we collect the data. That means so this is already collected data. So this irradiation temperature. So I am going to copy this one. So I'm going to copy this first data and I'm going for MATLAB. So here I'm going to create the new variable and then paste the data here. So this is nothing but irradiation. So here I'm going to change the name as GG. Okay. So and I'm going to copy the temperature data. So I am going to copy the temperature data. So again I am going to go into MATLAB and pick the new variable. So here we will see the new, new variable is created in the workspace. So here I am going to change the name is TT, okay, temperature data. Okay. So after that I am going to save this data as MAT5, so like a data. Okay. So next I am going to use the data to train the neural network for a particular PV panel. So here I am going to consider the PV panel rating is uh, 213.15 watts. Okay. And I am going for a coding. So this is a coding used for a training of that means uh, calculation of uh, voltage at maximum power point for the particular panel with the historical data of irradiation and temperature. Once again, yeah. so here you need to fill the detail that mean short circuit current and current at maximum power point. Here you can see the open circuit voltage, voltage at maximum power point, alpha, beta, 
and GS and DS nothing but the standard radiation temperature. Okay. Uh, and then you have to take the detail from here, right? Uh, and then I'm going to load the data. So this data will be loaded in the workspace. And then I'm going to use this code for uh, collecting uh, input data and the uh, output by using this equation. Atla equation. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate this model. So here we will get the that input data and the output data. So that can be used to perturb the neural network. So here I'm going to go for n and start fitting app and click next. So I'm going to feed the input data and then output data and click matrix source and click next click next next and then go for training so training will be yeah now training is completed and here you can see that the R will is 0 to 1 and click plot regression so here you can see that the R, R will be which is equal to 1 for all training testing and validation and uh, all things okay so that means the uh, train, uh, training is done perfectly okay go to next and go to next and click simulating data because i'm going to use this neural network in the simulating so i'm going to use, click simulating diagram here and then i'm going to use this neural network the simulating model okay so next i'm going to so this is a model already we created for that uh, uh, MBPT, neural network MBPT for solar PV system. So this is solar PV panel with 13.15 watts PV panel. It receiving two inputs, right? The radiation temperature and then is connected to the load via boost converter. So this is load. And then here we are using neural network uh, MBPT. So here we are measuring the PV panel detail. And then by using bus selector, I am going to select only PV voltage and current. And the PV voltage is going to be processed by the neural network MPPT. So once I am going to click this one, so this is a model created for neural network MPPT. So here I am going to delete this one. I am going to take the our train to neural network, right? So it is seen two inputs one is the radiation temperature. So it is taken from here, right? The radiation temperature, right? The output of neural network is the voltage maximum power point. So the, this voltage and this uh, neural network output can be compared here. And then here voltage will be processed by PA controller. So it will be generated duty cycle for that uh, pedulum generator. Right? So the duty cycle process by a pedulum generator and is given to IGPT in order to extract the maximum power of the PA. So now the condition is, is I think, sir, here you can see that the irradiation change from uh, uh, 1800, 600, 400, 200 for every 0.2 second. Okay. And uh, load is connected here. Uh, here we are using load is 15.7823 ohms. Okay. So now I am going to so, uh, I am going to open that scope of voltage, current and power. I am going to submit this model. Here you can see that power is extracted at maximum point for different irradiation level. So if you want to check the detail, so you can go to PV panel and click this one. Flat. So here you can find out the for for, for 1000 watts per meter square, the maximum power is 213.1. Okay. So here you can check the detail. So now you can see that the power is uh, here as around 212.8. Okay, actually we are having 213.1, but we are expecting maximum power around 212.8. For 800 uh, watts per meter square, the maximum power is around 171.8. So here you can see that. 
So here you are extracting the power is around 171.7. Okay. For 600 watts per meter square, the power is around 129.5. So here we are extracting the maximum power around is 129.4 watts. Okay. For 400 is 86.26. So, so here we are extracting my power is around 86.21 and for uh, 200 the maximum power is 42.46 so here you can see that we are extracting around 39.32 watts okay so from that we can, we can tell that that uh, train to given the torque we effectively extract the maximum power from the PV panel for, for the change in irradiation condition so and also I'm going to test the model with the change in load condition. So for that I'm going to change the irradiation to 1000 watts and then I'm going to connect these different loads. Okay. So here I'm going to connect different loads. So every 0.3 second each load will be connected in this system. So here I'm going to change the load from 13 ohms to uh, 15, 15.7823 and then I'm going to change to 17, right? So here I'm going to simulate the model again and I'm going to check the results. So every 0.3 seconds load can be varied. So we will check the result whether we are getting maximum power from the PV panel after changing load condition. So after changing load condition also we can see that the maximum power is extracted from the PV panel. Okay. So for changing load condition also the system work well. So this is working of uh, neural network neural MBPT for uh, historical data collected from the NASA power website. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Bye bye.